I'm Davey. And I'm awesome. And welcome to Davey's Awesome Movies, where I review the styles of movies I love. The alternative, B-rated, cold style flicks. So, at this point we've done Silent Night, Deadly Night 1 through 4. It's time for the last in the series before we get to the remake. This last one was made in 1991. That was directed and written by Martin Kit Rosser and co-written by Brian Usna, the director and co-writer of the last one. Produced by the same producer of the last film, Richard N. Gladstein. And also produced by Brian Usna. Made by Still Silent Films, Inc. Which is funny because last movie they were silent films. Now they're like, hey, we're still silent films. And distributed by Lionsgate Video as well as Live Home Video. Ladies and gentlemen, the fifth and final installment to the original series of Silent Night, Deadly Night. Sort of. Silent Night, Deadly Night 5. The Toy Maker. The movie opens with a ring at the doorbell. And a little boy upstairs who should have been asleep, Derek, goes to ask his parents about it. But they're busy. <laughs> that happened to me once. Full on walked in on my parents. But to be fair, I'm a junior and I thought my mother was calling me. Since his parents are busy, Derek decides to go downstairs and see what it was himself. <laughs> It says don't open till Christmas. So what does he do? Well, someone's on the naughty list. Hey! You didn't see anything, did you? How many times do I have to tell you not to open the front door by yourself? I relate. Derek's father, Tom, tells Derek to go back to bed. And then notices something about the package. What the... Okay, at this point, a mystery package showed up on my door at night with no clue as to who put it there, and now it starts moving. I'd either throw it out or I'd get something to smash it with, something like that. But what does he do? He opens it. Inside is a red wooden ball with a button on top. <laughs> He accidentally knocks over the fireplace poker that sticks up and falls on it. And sadly, Derek didn't go to bed. He just went halfway up the stairs and watched the whole thing happen. Tom! Tom! And to make things worse, his wife wasn't finished. It's two weeks later. Derek and his mom, Sarah, are just trying to pick up the pieces of their life and move on. And this is happening. So first her husband dies, and now she's got a stalker. Rough couple of weeks. Also, why wouldn't you throw that away? Downstairs, Sarah makes Derek her son breakfast. Come on, Derek. Say something. Talk to me. Apparently he hasn't spoken since he saw his dad killed. Which makes me wonder, is that all it takes to get the kids to shut up for a little bit? Cause I'm debating it. In an attempt to cheer up Derek, she takes him to a toy store to get him a toy. The toy store is called Pedos, which is probably the absolute worst name for a toy store. That'd be like having an ice cream truck called Diddlers. Mr. Pedo? Joe? It's called Pedos because the owner's name is Joe Pedo. As in Joe Pedo. Cause he's a toy maker. Clever. Pino! Pino is Joe's son. Geppetto. Pino. It's in Pinocchio. Subtle. Joe Petto himself is played by legendary actor Mickey Rooney, who was one of the most outspoken people against the first Silent Night, Deadly Night movie. The one that was in theaters for a couple weeks and then got taken out because of all the controversy. He actually even wrote a letter to the movie makers calling them scum and saying they should be run out of town for sullying the sacredness of Christmas. Apparently seven years later though, he didn't mind being in one of the sequels. So apparently it's not insulting to Christmas as long as they cast you in the movie. Mr. Petto, yeah that sounds awful, Joe 
shows Derek some of his newest toys, but he's really not that interested in any of them. So his son Pino has one in mind. Here, I want you to have this. But Derek isn't interested in that one either. Probably because it looks like one of the slimy, nasty bugs that they put on the girl's stomach in the last movie. And Derek was among the people who was not a fan of that one either. Sarah calls it a bust and just decides to take Derek home. And once they leave, Joe expresses to Pino that he's not happy. You know why people don't want to come in the store no more? Do you? Because of you! No! But Joe didn't realize there was somebody else in the store. I'd like to pay for this. Yes, of course. Just come with me. It's the stalker! Been buying a lot of toys from us lately. Are you playing Santa Claus? Something like that. Okay, which one here is the creeper? I need to know! But that night, stalker guy is at his hotel room that he's been staying at, and he's having issues with the credit card. Owner of the hotel is trying to kick him out, but stalker guy makes him a deal that he'll give the owner one of those toys for his kid if he lets him stay until the morning when he can get to the bank and pay him. This better be good. Oh, yeah, it's to die for. As the hotel owner is driving home, the toy that, yes, Pino wanted to give to Derek crawls out of the box. <laughs> well, look at the bright side. At least it's not a real bug. Okay, at this point, I think Mattel is about to get a very strongly worded letter. Was that necessary? And now for some snooping. What the? Oh. What the? The next day, Sarah and Derek are getting ready to go meet Santa. Which I still never got to do. What's this? It says it's to you, but it doesn't say who it's from. No! Kid, if there was ever a time to snap out of it, it's now. They get to the mall, it turns out that stalker guy is actually a mall Santa. So is this guy. Nothing like that California cutie we have for an elf. Yes, Clint Howard makes a cameo as Ricky. Although, clearly not the same Ricky as the last movie, that Ricky is dead. It's just a character named Ricky. When it's Derek's turn to meet Santa, of course, he won't talk, he won't say anything. So Sarah decides, okay, let's just go. No, don't go! Oh. Smooth. When Derek and Sarah get home, oh. Pino! not quite the reaction I would expect. Sarah goes to Pedo's toy store to talk to Joe about this. He explains to her that Pino snuck in because that house used to be theirs. Until business went down, he had financial problems, and the bank foreclosed on him. And Pino's been complaining he wanted to go back ever since. Also promises that it will never happen again. Then he goes to take care of Pino. You have to come up sometime, Pino. I'll be waiting for you. No, Daddy. No! Sarah's friend Kim comes over. And Sarah thanks Kim for the gift that was left at the door, but of course Kim informs her that she wasn't the one that left it. Sarah's talking to Kim about all the strange things that have been happening, and Kim says, hey, strange things happen. I mean, you would not believe the things that I've been through. Yes, that's Neith Hunter from the last movie, playing a character called Kim, the character she played in the last movie. And that one line right there is the only connection between Silent Night, Deadly Night 4 and Silent Night, Deadly Night 5. That's it. Upon hearing that Kim was not the one that left the present, though, Derek takes the opportunity to sneak out to the trash can with the present that was left at the door that morning. And the boy that picks it up and takes it out of the trash is the third and last cameo from somebody from Silent Night, Deadly Night 4. Lonnie, who lives with Kim, still played by Conan Yuzna, the son of the director and writer of the last movie and co-writer and producer of this one. <laughs> Let this be a lesson, kids. Dumpster diving is bad. His pulse is strong. Don't worry, he's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine, but at this point I would say he has more reason to hate Christmas than Billy or Ricky from the originals. The next morning, there's a ring at the door. Hi, Derek. Hi. You don't know me, but I'm... Um... Really? After all that, you still haven't learned not to answer the door by yourself? 
I relate. The babysitter steps in and makes him leave, but he asks where Sarah works. 1200 Market Street, fifth floor! Thank you. What the hell is wrong with you? At Sarah's work? And when he catches up to her... <laughs> not the reaction I was expecting. Back at the house... Mrs. Quinn's gonna be home soon. What are we waiting for? You are a terrible babysitter. Back to Sarah and Noah. That's his name. It's at this point in the movie we learn that. Why did you run from me? Because some people like to be chased. But now to why Noah is back. He's my son, isn't he? Not really. It actually got pretty obvious pretty fast. She tells him, though, that at the time, because Noah was going to the army and clearly wasn't ready to settle down and have a family, she decided not to tell him and just go off and marry Tom instead. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Aww. You know what? Screw that guy that you married and helped raise your kid for the last five years until he had a very sudden and horrible death two weeks ago. While the babysitter and her boyfriend are getting busy, <laughs> the simple fact that he's dressed like a Santa actually now makes this more connected to the original three movies than the fourth one was. The toys start attacking the couple. <laughs> Who should know better than to have sex in a horror movie? And Derek comes out to see what's going on. Oh, and the couple... Well, the toys are finishing them off. To be fair, though, the package clearly said for kids 20 and up. Noah tells Sarah about Joe Petto. How when Noah was a kid, he remembered Joe Petto having to go serve time because he was making toys that were harming children. Even killed one, thinking he must have snapped after his pregnant wife died in a car accident. When they get back to Sarah's... What do I tell Derek? Just tell him what I tell my kids. Sit him down, and very calmly and affirmatively look him in the eye and say, I'm banging your mommy! Oh yeah, the babysitter. Okay. She's alive! She tells them that Joe took Derek, and that her boyfriend that shouldn't have been there is upstairs dead, and that she's raising her rates to $3 an hour! Noah wants to stop and call the police, but Sarah is not waiting. She's going to go get Derek now. No! Let the police handle this! Sarah! Dude, you're kind of already being a bad father. Kim hears the commotion from next door, so she comes over to see what's going on. So Noah leaves the babysitter with Kim and runs off to Pedos. It's send the police! Send them where? Of course, Sarah's in the car, so she gets to Pedos first and goes upstairs. Noah gets there after her and goes into the basement. Yeah! Ryder Strong Day! Oh, sorry. Wrong video. Hearing this, Sarah goes down to the basement. Ah! What? What? Pino? Oh. Pino killed Joe, because Joe broke him, but then fixed him like he's done many times. Because Pino is... Oh my god. A toy! A walking, talking toy. What? Pino tells Sarah how he's the one that's been rigging the toys the whole time. Which means he was the one rigging the toys way back when Joe got arrested. Meaning, 20, 30 years have passed and... Joe never thought to just get rid of Pino. Derek has to die. Then you can be my mommy. Um, if what you really want is for her to be your mommy, then I think it's time you two set some boundaries. I can love you like a real son. I can. I can. I can. Dude, real sons do not love their mothers like that. Well, at least not so far outside of Arkansas. I love you! Ah! Well, he screwed. Except it didn't work. I'm your son now! Derek is hanging there in one of the Christmas bags, so Pino goes to stab it. Ah! 
Wow, look who's talking again! Noah to the rescue! But that just more pisses off Pino than anything. So Sarah to the rescue! But did that work? Ah, ah, this is torture. Nothing is worse than stepping on a toy. It's only a toy, Mommy. Seriously? Only a toy? Are you not paying attention? It's only a toy that was trying to kill you for the last two weeks. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, by the way, son, forget about that guy you thought was your dad for the last five years. This is Noah. <laughs> oh, no. Is there going to be another? No. So there you have it. That's Silent Night, Deadly Night 5, The Toy Maker. The last in the Silent Night, Deadly Night series until 2012 when they had a remake simply titled Silent Night. I gotta mention that the makeup effects in this movie were really good. You know, them making the lead killer look like a toy, but ultimately the story, while original, was stupid. Not to mention, kind of the same problem I had with number four. It's in no way really connected with any of the original three. The original story with Ricky and Billy Caldwell and the trauma they went through around Christmas causing them to become psycho killers. This is just its own story that they tacked on Silent Night, Deadly Night 5 to get people to watch it. It's a little connected to the number four in the sense that three of the same actors are in this movie as the same characters, but they don't really mention number four. They act like it really never happened except for the one line in this movie. So based on that, I recommend checking it out because you want to see all the Silent Night, Deadly Night films. But keep in mind, if you're a fan of the original three like I am, it's not the same thing at all. Like the last one, it was a straight-to-video release, and like the last one, it doesn't have a DVD release. Your best bet is to find it on the YouTubes, or right now it's on TubiTV.com. Or of course, there's always people who bootleg them from VHS to DVDs, but at this point, Tubi's probably your best bet. And I will say it's interesting that they had to name the toy maker himself, Joe Petto, as in Joe Petto, and the killer toy, Pino, as in Pinocchio, but again, Original, but stupid. However, unlike the fourth one, this one is still very fun to watch if you're one of those people who just likes to watch movies that are so bad they're good. Whereas the fourth one's just bad. This one, you can laugh your butt off at all the cheesy effects and weird inconsistent storytelling and just all the stuff that makes you go, what? So based on that alone, if you like me and love the terrible movies, go ahead and check out Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 5 the toy maker there you have it that's my movie review this week i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure to hit like hit subscribe hit that little bell so you get notifications for when i post new videos and leave a comment tell me what you thought of silent night deadly night part five tell me which of the silent night deadly night movies is your favorite love you guys